So Fallout 4 is mere days away now, and despite being one of the most anticipated games this year, there will no doubt be many people out there who will be taking their first steps into the Fallout universe in this latest game. So this video is for you, to introduce you to the world of Fallout and to get you caught up on some of the most important events in the game. That's not to say that if you have played the previous games this video isn't also for you, just think of it as a refresher before you delve into the next great story. For most of human history, the Fallout universe and the real world shared a common timeline. However, in 1945, as the Second World War came to an end, significant political and technological differences in the Fallout timeline set it on a different course from our own. In 1947, the transistor was not discovered and miniaturization of electronics was neglected, which is clear to see through the items in the game. No major international conflicts would take place until the middle of the 21st century. In 2052, the oil-rich Middle East nations raised oil prices causing the economic collapse of many smaller nations. The European Commonwealth, Fallout's version of our European Union, similarly depended on oil imports from the Middle East, which led to the beginning of the Resources War when they responded with military force. The United States, being supplied by oil from Texas and Mexico, escaped any direct impact from the European conflicts. They were, however, to have their own problems. In 2052, the Texas oil fields were exhausted, making the Americans vulnerable to their own energy shortages. In 2053, the new plague begins to ravage the US population, causing 200,000 deaths and prompting the closure of America's borders. Nuclear fears grip the country when in the same year, Tel Aviv is destroyed by a terrorist nuclear weapon and in the following year, warring nations exchange nuclear weapons in the Middle East. In response, the Americans begin Project Safe House, a series of underground vaults designed to survive nuclear war or an epidemic. In 2060, the Middle East oil fields run dry. This not only ends the resource war in Europe, but the European Commonwealth as well. Without a common enemy, the European nations begin fighting amongst each other for the remaining resources. Fossil fuels become too expensive to use in automobiles and alternatives begin to appear in the market. Advances in nuclear technology allow its use in automobile engines. In 2066, the resource wars shift to the other side of the globe. China, their oil reserves exhausted and their economy near collapse, invades Alaska. This prompts America to retaliate against the Chinese with military force. In 2072, the Chinese-American war grinds on. While American power armor proves effective in localized conflicts, they are insufficient to completely dislodge the Chinese forces. In early 2077, the Americans reclaim Alaska, but this prompts the start of the nuclear bombardment. Those in positions to foresee these nuclear attacks make their final preparations. Robert House, an important character from Fallout New Vegas, puts himself in stasis. The President and the Enclave retreat to the Poseidon oil rig. The American public, having been exposed to too many false alarms, largely ignore the warning sirens when the bombs begin to fall. Many vaults are underpopulated as their doors are shut. The American mainland was reduced to wasteland. Most major American cities, with a few exceptions such as Pittsburgh and Las Vegas, were completely destroyed by the bombs. Even the surviving cities were reduced to ruins as society rapidly disintegrated. Although the vaults were never intended to preserve the entire American population, enough people and technology survived to jumpstart civilization when they were opened. The Mojave Wasteland was another incubator of civilization. It had received fewer bombs than any other area due to the foresight of Robert House. Its infrastructure was so far advanced that by the year 2281, 
it was within a century of being able to launch a colonisation spaceship. In the east, the capital wasteland was also left surprisingly intact. Although unable to compete with New Vegas in the Mojave Wasteland, it was able to support a radio station and a water purification plant. As these regions rose from the ashes, so too did new groups. The new Californian Republic was established in 2186 and would control New California a century later. The Brotherhood of Steel was founded days after the Great War and would become a technological powerhouse by 2150. The Enclave, descendants of the United States government and military industrial complex, made its presence felt in New California in 2237 and then in the Capital Wasteland in 2277. The Roman-based slavers Caesar's Legion, formed in 2247, arose, forged from the conquest of 87 tribes and would control most, if not all, of Arizona and New Mexico along with some holdings in eastern Utah and parts of southern Colorado. While nothing is known of the world abroad, it is known that things seem to be significantly worse than North America's situation over in Great Britain and Ireland. Inhabitants from these countries emigrate to the American wastelands with the purpose of seeking a better life, fortune and opportunity in America. So there you have it guys, that was a pretty basic look into the lore of the Fallout universe and I hope you head into Fallout 4 a little more informed than before. Thank you for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please be sure to leave me a like, comment and subscribe for tons more Fallout 4 content. I've been the Royal Gorilla, over and out. His name is Luke and he's more than your average gamer. No ordinary let's player. No but Easter eggs much better. Da 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 da. His name is Luke, aka the Roy Gorilla. Even bigger than the giant Godzilla. Follow him in every game he goes. Da 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 da. He's almost got everything you need from GTA 5 to Assassin's Creed.